Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie Jean. If you're new here and if you're returning, then hey girl, how you doing? Today's video, we're gonna install a glueless frontal. This is a kinky curly wig by Nadula. They're sponsoring today's video and all of the information about the wig will be down below in the description bar. So you guys can go ahead and check it out if you're interested in purchasing. We're trying something a little new today. I wanted to do this cute little like middle part updo with the curly hair situation I've been seeing all over the internet. So I had to try it. I'm starting off by prepping the hair to bleach my knots. I'm using the Kaleida Colors Blue Bleach so that I don't have to tone the hair later. And I'm making sure to mix it relatively thick. I'm using a 40 volume developer and I ended up leaving it in the hair for about 30 minutes. I know that sounds crazy, but I checked on it every like five to 10 minutes and that's what the hair needed. So that's what I did, girl. After that time is up, I'm going ahead and washing the bleach off with some neutralizing shampoo. I like to wash the bleach and the lace of the wig with a neutralizing shampoo starting off just as a safety measure to make sure that no chemicals are still working because that can really eat up your knots and make your lace start to shed. And then for the rest of the hair, I'm using a moisturizing shampoo. This one is by Urban Hydration. I've been using it a lot lately on my wigs and I'm just going ahead and washing out the rest of the hair. I washed it about two times. I shampooed it twice and then rinsed it out. And I'm following that up with some conditioner. I just went ahead and brushed it through to kind of get most of the tangles out of the hair. And I had a little bit of shedding. That's to be expected with curly hair and frontals. So put that together and girl, you get a little bit of shedding, but it was nothing too crazy at all, especially for the length and density of the hair. Now once the wig is dry, I'm going in with a little bit of hairspray and I'm pressing out those edges. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I am scared of the hot comb. So I try to do most of the pressing while it's on the wig head. And this is my lovely braiding pattern. It's pretty basic. I have 16 braids going straight back and I kind of connect them as I braid the hair so there's no loose ends. It makes a really nice and flat base. And because I'm wearing a lot of wigs this week, this is perfect for me. To prep my hair, I'm starting off by cleaning my hairline off. I'm using some micellar water and some alcohol. You can use one or the other, but I have some makeup on, girl, so I wanted to make sure it was super clean to avoid the lace line getting really gunky. And then I'm just gonna go in and do my bald cap using a little bit of gel. To blend in the ball cap of my scalp color, I'm using a little bit of powder foundation before I trim the cap. That's been my new favorite thing. After I have my ball cap on, I like to take a little bit more gel and just blend in the edges right along the area where my part will be. It helps blend in the ball cap, which looks really, really good under HD lace. So now we're moving on to installing the hair. And before we can do anything, I'm trimming a little bit of this lace off so I can actually see. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut out the ear tabs. Thank you. 
My hairline is pretty low on the sides and kind of high in the middle. So I have to customize the wig to make sure it fits my hairline right. I'm parting off a little bit of hair in the front and then plucking behind that so that once I do customize the hairline, I'm still getting a nice density on the lace. And then once I pull out all the extra hair that I don't need, I go in and pluck it a little bit more and brush it out to get any of the fallen hair so that it's not super tangled. I took my Chi blow dryer attachment and kind of ran through the hair just to detangle it and smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm just pressing the part out with my hot comb as a starting point for styling the hair. I really had no clue how I was gonna do this style, to be honest, that's the reason why I didn't do a talk through. I kind of wanted to just go for it, but it came out really cute. I'm laying the lace down with my favorite, the good old Eben Active Lace Spray. What sprays and gels do you guys like to use for your glueless installs? I'm really curious because I wanna try something new soon, so. Let me know what y'all been using, girl. What's hot on the streets? To begin styling the hair, first I have to get everything sectioned off just so I have an idea of what the hell is going on because there's so much hair on my head, it can get confusing really quick. So for the two little slicked parts in the front, I'm parting off a section of the frontal hair and make sure I leave enough hair to cover up any tracks in the back just in case they're not covered by the little slicked up part in the front. I hope that's making sense, but girl, we are working through this together. To get the ponytail nice and smooth, I'm going in and pressing out the roots with a little bit of a wax stick and then I'm parting off the section for the ponytail, starting about a half inch above my ear. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get that hair out of the way so we don't have to be confused, girl. We're gonna work on one thing at a time. This style is a little bit intimidating just because the hair is so long and curly and it's thick. Plus I'm trying a new style, so I really needed to be organized in order to get through it, girl. It was a challenge, but it came out really, really cute. And I'm happy I took my time with it. I'm pressing out the hair section by section for the ponytail area just because I want the roots to be really slick even though the ends are going to be curly. And once I have everything slick, I'm brushing it back into a kind of a low ponytail, making sure that I have all the tracks in the back covered of the area of the hair that's gonna be like down. As you can see, it's a frontal half up ponytail, but you can't see any tracks, which is very important. And to finish up the install, I'm cutting off the lace around the edges. You guys know I haven't really been into laying down the lace on my ear tabs lately. It's just too much work, it never stays. So I'm cutting the hair around my own sideburns just to kind of blend it all in. And I'm just trimming the lace with my scissors and the razor interchanging to make sure that I get a jagged edge on the lace. But in some areas, it's just a little bit easier to use the scissors. I'm using a little bit of hairspray to melt everything into place and putting my elastic band back on while we go ahead and style the rest of the hair. So now we need to press out the front sections of the hair. This is where the swoop, bop doo boop okay, it's gonna be. I don't know what to call it, but it's like a middle part swoop ponytail situation. I'm making sure to press the hair down and back so that I can have it kind of lay nicely around my baby hair in the front because some way, somehow, I'm about to finesse some baby hairs into this style. 
So I'm parting out two like half moon shapes along my hairline, which is gonna be the hair that we leave out for the baby hair. And then everything else we're gonna go ahead and slick back. I'm trimming the baby hair pretty short with the razor, but I should have went a little bit shorter because I have to trim them again later. So to get it super slick, you want to go in and part every inch of the hair and apply a little bit of like a gel or a edge control. I couldn't find any gel, so I'm using some edge control. And this is going to make sure that the hair isn't just slick on top, but it's slick all the way through. And to give it even more hold, I'm applying a little bit of hairspray and then smoothing it back into place. And once we have both sides really smooth, we're gonna pull them back and then put them in a ponytail at the very bottom of our hair. and proceed to lay the baby hairs. You know it was coming. Had to give them a little curl to get the shape. I'm still a soft baby hair girl. I'm taking a little bit of concealer to define my part and then slicking down my own sideburns to kind of blend in the sides. And once we have all of the styling done, I'm wetting the hair down and applying some curling products to define the curls. And then this is the finished look wet. And once it's dry, it got really, really fluffy and cute. And to finish it off, I'm applying my little claw clip so we can get the full effect. It gives some really cute volume to the top and I love the way this style came out. I wanna do this with all of my wigs now. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye babes.